Hi guys, I'm Tom. This is The Bunker, and today I'm going to show you how I painted my UCM army. Okay, so today's paints are from TT Combat, a dabble of army painter, some two thin coats, and even a little bit of Citadel. I start off with all of the miniatures primed in black, uh, your black spray of choice here guys. And I'm using a large brush and I'm daubing on basically an army green and I'm going to cover pretty much of every part of these miniatures in this colour. Um, the ground forces for me are going to be army green. Let's get it all on and let's move to the next stages. Don't be afraid to go over items as well here. So I'm going over the cockpits, I'm going over the metallic areas. I just want to make sure that green is a nice coverage. Now that the green is done, we're coming in with the metal. I'm using TT Combat Gun Metal. I find the TT Combat paints cover really well and they're uh, nice and cheap, which is always good, isn't it? And now I'm literally just going over cannons, gordons, connection points for drops, and I'm there, I'm giving it a bit of sort of initial weathering on the underneath. Think about the paint will chip off. I mean, this thing's picking and dropping up tanks, you know? Um, any of the exhaust vents there are getting metallic as well. And I'm basically going around thinking, you know, what's going to be metallic on this? What's going to look cool? And I'm just sort of taking my time and just using a medium sized brush, daubing it on. So the men are a bit different, um, all I'm doing here, they're, they're all green now, so I'm just picking out the weapons, the guns and silver. Um, less is more on these scale of miniatures I find, so as you see we go through we don't do a great deal to the soldiers, um, but it seems to work, or at least I think it does. Now we're bringing out the red. Now I'm using TT Combat's Viscera Red. And what I'm doing here, really easily, anything that's glass, I'm gonna paint it red. So cockpit windows, like the domes on the tanks, things like that. Using a smaller brush and taking our time, trying not to go over the sides. So you've still got like the canopy construction showing through as green. Um, but yeah, let's get all those glass areas. Are any lights done red? Coming out with some black. So now we've uh, done the first sort of three colour stages. We can come in with some black and do some tidying up. Um, I'm doing like the connection pads. I'm going to do anything that's got like a tyre or a track, anything like that. It's just getting blacked. So if you stick to a handful of colours across your miniatures, you actually tie your entire army together really quickly. And uh, this sort of like ties it together as an army. They're an army at the end of the day. They're going to look the same, you know? Um, but anyway, I'm going through the black. Just being as neat as I can. I don't want to cover up any of that work I've already done here now. I'm sort of tidying up and going back in. And uh, yeah, you soon see it comes together. So black trousers, <laughs> the soldiers. <laughs> Combat trousers come in black. Just breaks up the green. 
um, nothing more special is happening to them until we, until we get to a, a, a stage later on and they can have a face, but for now it's just black trousers. Here we go, so we're going to break out some dark tone now. Now, dark tones, it, it's like liquid job done basically so daubing it on straight out of the bottle it's going to tie everything together when it dries it tones everything the same so it shades your entire miniature and at this scale it does 99 percent of the work for you um, you'll see what i mean when it's dry just daub it on don't be afraid Once dry, you can see that the uh, you could leave it like that to be fair, but I'm going to come back in with my green and I'm going to do some highlights, some nice sort of like basic highlights of the original colour. Nothing too special, I'm just picked it, work top down, don't overdo all of the shading just done, but it just helps us to smooth out the top surfaces. And just makes it look as if it is actually army green and not just, you know, it's been left on the planet north up for a while. Now, if I was doing resistance, and I will do resistance eventually, I wouldn't do this stage. Same principle on the tank, same principle on everything else, just top down, thinking about where, where the light's going to fall, where the shadows are going to be. Don't have to massively do a lot to them, they do a lot of work for themselves really once they've been shaded. This is just about sort of neatening it up and making it look a bit more like a uniform army. Coming back in with the red. I'm going to just literally highlight up the red canopies, the red sort of domes. It's not a glass dome, but apparently it's like a sensor suite, but I just think it looks cool if it's a red ball. <laughs> Lights there are getting a dab as well, and we'll also do the cockpit windows and canopies. Coming back in now, this time I'm using plate silver, plate armour from Two Thin Coats, and I'm going to highlight up my metal. So, what I'm going to do is quite sharp highlights on it, and it's just going to instantly make it look like it's real, basically. So, I'm just going to go straight across the top, briefly over the things. I'm not going to daub all over, I'm leaving recesses. It doesn't matter if you get a bit of an overspill on chips and things like that, because it does a lot of work for you, and I'm actually going to add some chip damage to them. Because at the end of the day, you know, the paint will get ripped off there, getting dropped into wall zones at the end of the day. I'm not going crazy on that, but I'm just going to just go around where the brush sort of lands, where I think it looks cool. Just add a little bit of damage. There we go. Again, on resistance, I would probably do this bit heavier. There we go. Tank, exactly the same thing. So they've got like a real cannon and a real gun across the top. And I'm gonna make sure I highlight that up as well. There we go, going from the front back, which is always a good technique for small scale, it just instantly makes it look like it's got depth. Coming in now with some blood for the blood god from Citadel. What I'm using this for is to shine the windows. So I'm going over all the glass areas, all the sensor dome areas, and it's going to instantly make it look like glass. And it's going to shade what's underneath a little bit as well. Now, technically you could skip this stage, but it looks cool. Facing the miniatures, I'm using some just some Ick Interactive Texture Paste. Um, I wanted to find here, because you've got to bear in mind how big the bits are. And then straight into my little box, shake it off, done. So there we go. The, the army is done. I hope you enjoyed. We hope you enjoyed that video. We love making content for you and really thank you for your support. If you want to learn more about the bunker, head over to tomsbunker.com where you can not only purchase some lovely new models if you're within the UK, 
You can also find our links to Discord and also our Patreon if you should wish to contribute. Thank you to all of our Patreons, past, present and future, for the support they offer the bunker. It is truly epic and is lining up 2024 to be a fantastic year. Thank you. Thank you.